Okay, so afternoon guys, hope everyone's having a fantastic day, whatever you're doing, whatever you're getting up to, and welcome to another episode of <laughs> The Beta Berserker. No, The Beta Berserker, with me, Matt. And so welcome again to another one of my reviews. Now for those of you not entirely sure what I'm doing here, basically I'm trying to show you guys there is an alternative to slinging your money at these massive brands and companies out there, and there is an alternative. And this alternative is smaller brands, smaller companies, smaller individuals, smaller businesses, smaller families even, that are making some amazing products. And I'm finding on my journey here and that these smaller brands are putting so much time, effort and care into the products that they're making, their customer service and everything, because they're trying to get the, their sort of products onto the market and everything, whereas... Not all of, but a lot of the big brands and companies out there and everything, they've kind of forgotten where they've come from and they're kind of coasting along on their name. Customer service with a lot of them is absolutely shocking. So I'm just trying to show you guys there is an alternative out there and we need to support these smaller brands um, because their products are absolutely phenomenal. Now, as with all the reviews and everything that I do on my channel, I'm completely unbiased. Everything's my own honest opinion, and I'm not affiliated to any of these companies whatsoever. So if there's something I don't particularly like, then I will kind of say, obviously, constructively. Um, I'm not just out here to slate the products and stuff like that. And that's a cool thing nowadays. We can all have our own opinions. So stuff I might absolutely love, you might absolutely hate, and vice versa. And... So that's what I'm doing. And a massive, massive shout out and thanks to each and every one of you that's watched my videos, liking what I'm doing, commenting and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. I've got a giveaway coming up on my next live feed, which is in a couple of weeks time in my vlog or whatever it's called nowadays. I've no idea. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Now, I have done quite a few reviews for these guys before. And they've sent me through a couple more products to have a look at and see what I think of and to give you guys my honest opinion. So I'm not here to blow smoke rings at the company's back size because if there is stuff I don't like, I will say it. And believe it or not, I've even been offered money to give good reviews. I've had a couple of reviews pulled because the brands that I were reviewing didn't actually like it and uh, what I was saying about their products. But I do give honest opinions, okay? And that's what I'm priding myself on here. Because if I don't, I may as well not bother at all doing this. And it's not about me. This is about the products. And so here we go. Now, another UK brand called the Audacious Beard Company. I've done a few reviews, like I say, for these before. And they sent me through a couple of products to have a look at. So what we're going to have a look at first is the product itself. The packaging of the product, the ingredients. This is not an unboxing because I have used the products to get an honest opinion and feel of how they work, how they use, what I think of them. And at the end of it, we'll talk about the prices, score it out of 20 because technically these are beard products. And that's what we do. As with all the video reviews that I do, I will be putting links down below to the Audacious Beard Company. Uh, so afterwards, please go and check them out, have a look, see what you think. And here we go. Which one shall I do first? Let's do this one. Okay, now I did review for them a while back, uh, which was their charcoal beard soap which was amazing stuff and they sent me through another soap now it's going to be it was quite interesting to see the difference between the two uh, the charcoal soap was absolutely fantastic stuff and i love that and they've got another one which is called the black sheep now that this comes tied around the little box and hopefully that's picking up the black sheep on the back of it i don't know whether that's picking up this is kind of the ingredients and everything else like that put me reading specs on and so yeah audacious beard shampoo bar and 120 grams so yeah okay now this is how it comes comes in a little recycled brown box which is nice because you don't want plastics and stuff like that in your products because it's more pollution more waste stuff getting into the sea and everything else like that and i do like the natural approach on products now, I have dried this out. I've used it a couple of times. I've dried it out. 
in order to show you guys kind of what you get. So it has been used. And the reason it's called a black sheep is the bar of soap is basically in some felted black sheep's wool. As you can possibly see, I've got my beard hair stuck to it. But this is how it comes. Now this is quite handy. The reason I found it quite handy is because you don't need a flannel. So it kind of exfoliates as well. It's, it's not harsh. It's not like a scrubby flannel. Um, but it's got kind of like a sort of, well, felted wool feel to it. And the soap is on the inside. Now the cool thing as well with this, so you can just rub it over yourself, over your beard and face. It helps to exfoliate and everything. Plus being covered in felt or wool, it doesn't slip out of your hands. So it kind of keeps it contained. And I have noticed as well with this, I don't know whether they've intentionally done that, is that once you use soap, if you leave it on the side in a soap dish, it kind of starts going a bit and almost like melting. I don't know what is, but it kind of melts a little bit and starts de sort of disintegrating. This, the wool in this kind of like wicks away the water from the soap. So it dries out pretty quickly. And as you can see, I've used this a couple of times. And this is dry as a bone, actually used it last night again. And I kind of give it a bit of a thrashing, if you know what I mean. Because I don't want to get something and say, oh, use it once and then it's fine. And you use it two or three more times and it falls apart. And as you can see, it's not, so it's still around there. Fine, it's not sort of worked its way out. It's starting to pull a little bit there, but I'd expect to because I'm using it as a soap. And... The soaps, uh, basically ingredients that they're using in it is shea butter, shea butter, depending on what you want to call it, avocado, olive, activated charcoal. And this is really, really nice. It's kind of a weird, I know it's a weird looking thing. It kind of looks like a mouse that's been squashed in a press, but it's actually really, really good. And I've kind of got a bit of a dilemma now as to which one's my favourite, either the, the charcoal beard soap that they've done or this one. And I actually do, I don't know, I think I, I think I actually like them both exactly the same. Actually, it's hard to pick one from the other because the soaps before that I reviewed for them, really, really good. And this one, again, is just as good. And it's quite unusual. It's natural as well, which is great. And I do like the black sheep felt on it. So, yeah, that is the... Black Sheep Felted Shampoo Bar, which you can use on your beard, your skin, your body, your face, wherever you like. It's not come out in hives or anything like that, or red blotches. It's been, although it exfoliates, it's not particularly rough on the skin. And so that was very nice. And that is the Black Sheep Soap Bar from Audacious Beard Company. So I'm going to slide that back in there. And pop that just down here for a second. And the second thing they've sent through. A new product out for the Audacious Beard Company. And they have bought out a detangling beard brush. Sorry, price on the soap. Oh, I've still got it down here and lose myself this afternoon. The price on the soap, £11.50, okay? Would I go out and pay £11.50 on a bar of soap? Usually, probably not. But the fact that it is felted, I don't need to use a flannel, it's a good little exfoliator and it seems to be lasting a fair while. Um, £11.50, would I go out and buy another one of these? Yes, excuse me, yes I would. I would definitely go out and buy another one of these. So that's £11.50, 120 grams I think it said. But there you go, that is that. So go, moving on to the brush, They're, they bought out a new brush called a detangling beard brush. Probably because it detangles tangles in your beard. So they bought one of these out. Stands at around about 16 centimetres tall. Nice little graphic printed on the back. The audacious beard co. With kind of like a pin up lady on it. And it's all kind of wooden construction. Apart from the rubber that the pegs are in. And they're wooden pegs as well. It's hand finished wood too. And I like this. I actually... It, my beard, don't get me wrong, is not particularly long at the moment, even though I've been growing it to March and I'm growing the whole year thing out and everything else like that. Um, so my beard doesn't tend to tangle too often. It's quite nice against the skin. 
it's not got these sort of sharp nasty little points on there because as you can see each one is kind of bobbled and the cool thing is as well I've noticed with this is it does help to actually put a bit of volume in the beard too so sometimes I'll kind of have it more sort of straight down and everything else because I do tend to I have sort of straight beard hair but this does help to put a bit more volume not that I'm back combing my beard into my beard but at the same time if you want it does kind of like pull everything down so there you go now I haven't got a gap in my beard it does look like it these bits are along the front here aren't growing particularly quickly and I've got a big chunk of kind of like darker section in there so it's not that I've got a gap in my beard it's just I've got more silver on this side than I have this side so it looks like I've got a chunk missing but actually I don't know whether you can see that in there I've got dark hair at the back so I know it might look strange on this video that why has he got a big chunk taken out of his beard it's not there is hair there it's just it's very dark hair and with the light and in here it's not picking it out so it looks like I've I've had a problem with some scissors and cut my hair out, but I haven't. There is hair there, as you can probably hopefully see. It's quite worrying, actually. It does look like I've cut a chunk here, but I haven't, unless the missus has been hacking at it while I've been asleep, which hopefully he hasn't. But no, moving back to the brush, sorry, I lost, lost myself there, went off a bit on a tangent. Um, but the beard brush is really, really good. And it hasn't fallen apart. I've used it quite rigorously for the past few days, morning, afternoon and evening, getting out of the shower, in the shower, washing my beard with it and everything. None of the pegs are loose and dislodged. They have got a certain amount of give to them because obviously you don't want it just rigid going through. Um, so And it does help to detangle because my beard's not tangled anyway. And like I say, it's got rubber pad in there as well. I like the design of it. I like the simplicity. I like the fact it's made out of wood. And it's kind of got a nice feel to it. Um, holding it in my hand, it's kind of long enough for three, maybe four fingers. Um, but yeah, it really, really nice. It feels nice against the skin. Like I say, it's not pulling or anything like that through my hair. Because that's the last thing you want. It's too close gaps and it starts pulling on the hair and it starts sort of pulling at the follicles, which is not what you need. I've not noticed any hairs stuck in the brush, so it's not been sort of snagging and pulling or anything like that. Goes through my beard very, very nicely. I like the design on the back of it. The pin up the Audacious Beard Company. And this is at £7.50 for a brush. Yes, I would quite happily go out and buy this. And I've noticed with a lot of the UK companies, the smaller brands and stuff out there, that their products that they're coming up with and making that are absolutely fantastic. There's some different stuff out there as opposed to the kind of normal run-of-the-mill stuff. That you, I mean, the Black Sheep Bar, pure example of that, their brush. And I can't say that I've actually seen any of these um, through any of the companies that I've reviewed before or anything. So it's quite nice to try something completely different as opposed to the bottle bristle brush and the beard combs and stuff like that. This is absolutely fantastic. What do I prefer, this one or the ball bristle brush? I don't know. It's kind of much of a muchness to me, if you know what I mean. But I do like the feel of this one. As a, my only problem with the ball bristle brush is because my beard's getting longer, it's getting harder to kind of like go through it. And I don't want to be pulling on hairs and hair loss and stuff like that. But like I say, this one does go through very, very easily. No tangles in the beard, so it's a fantastic product. And £7.50 for the beard brush. Would I pay that for it in a heartbeat? Yes, I like the design. I like the way it's made. It's well made. It's not falling apart. And £11.50 on a 120 gram bar of black sheep's felted wool soap. And it comes to scoring them at a 20. The soap as well hasn't got a, particularly smell, a particular smell to it. It has just kind of got like a clean sort of soapy soap smell to it and scoring it out of 20 the brush I'm scoring 20 out of 20 because it's the first time I've ever used a product like this on my beard and it's very well made so that I'm giving 20 out of 20 I think it's reasonably priced not too expensive not dirt cheap it's lasted nice it's not scratched or anything on the back I've not started losing any of the design on the back of it either um, 
And as for the soap, I'm going to score that 20 out of 20 as well. So 20 out of 20 for both. And the reason I'm scoring them both 20 out of 20, like I said, with the brush and the soap is I've not seen anything like that um, on the market either. It's nice to see and try new stuff. Again, they're both very well made. And I have noticed with the Audacious Beard Company that all of their products do have a nice consistency and continuity between them two, between them all. There's not like a beard oil that's kind of almost like, yeah, we'll just release another scent. Everything's kind of almost thought out, well made. Um, all the products have a standard to them, so they're not better than others and everything else. All their beard balms that I've reviewed, they're all very, very consistent. All the oils, exactly the same as well. And it's a really nice cut. Really nice company um, with regards to their uh, customer service and everything. You'll ask them a question within five, ten minutes. They're chatting back to you again and they kind of have a real passion about what they are making and doing out there. And I am a good, a firm supporter of the Audacious Beer Company because all of their products that I have reviewed and tried are spot on and really, really well made. So thank you to the Audacious Beard Company for sending that through. I really, really do appreciate it. Fantastic products. Keep up the good work. Don't slip now because if, if I do some, if I do review something else and it's not the same consistency, then stuff does get marked down, if you know what I mean. So but brilliant hat off to Audacious Beard Company. Fantastic products. Again from them. Like I said, I will be slamming links down below for Audacious Beard Company. So please go give them a check out and have a look. Fantastic products from them. <coughs> and so ends another review from the Bearded Berserker. Now, you will notice before I finish with all of my reviews, I do them in one take, okay? For a start, I'm doing this through my iPad. I can't edit the videos anyway. And in my opinion, if companies are good enough to send stuff out to me to have a look at, review and talk to you guys about, stuff that I'm going out and sourcing the least I can do is learn about them try them revise them literally thoroughly scrutinize them and I like doing it in one take because it's just consistency all the way through and all 107 eight reviews that I've done everything has been in one take so I am priding myself in doing that as well and if you are expecting fancy graphics popping up here there and everywhere it's not gonna happen because I'm old and what you see is pretty much what you get. But there you go. Thank you guys. Um, I'm over on Instagram. Please give us a check out over there as Viking Beard Matt. Please comment down below. I read all the comments. Um, I will reply to each and every comment that is made. So thank you guys. Have a great day. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on looking after each other. And above all, keep on growing those beards. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of The Bearded Berserker with me, Matt. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.